8.13 is the last section of this unit. It's on pathogens and infectious diseases. I promise it's just a coincidence that we're currently dealing with a coronavirus pandemic. I hope everyone out there that's listening to this video is safe and healthy and stay that way. Moving on. Um, so pathogens are just things that cause illness, um, whether it's a bacteria or a virus or parasite, prion, it's something that can transmit an illness from one organism to another. Um, there are certain pathogens that do better in certain types of environments and with certain conditions, other ones that can appear no matter what. We are finding that with climate change, we see um, a shift in where certain illnesses can be found, and that's due to the changing um, environments. So, for instance, mosquito-borne illnesses very prevalent in tropical regions because those regions, you know, are great for mosquitoes um, to thrive in. Uh, but as we are seeing uh, a spread of those temperatures into temperate and subtropical zones, um, we're seeing that that transmission of illnesses go there as well. We see in less developed countries, um, they are at a special risk for uh, for pathogen spread because of the conditions with, you know, dirty water, um, contamination, lack of sanitary waste disposal, and just overall low income. So, you know, it's a whole cycle with lack of health care, lack of good medicine, and lack of good food and water. Um, but it just uh, makes it a haven for the spreading of infectious diseases. If you want to pause and take a look at this graph or map, it kind of breaks down more different countries and their susceptibility to certain um, illnesses based on their their infrastructure. So someone or some of the diseases you want to know about, you want to know about plague, which is still a thing, by the way. Plague is around, which is not as common. Um, plague is transferred to humans via the bite of an infected organism, so it's something that you know has a flea on it, or through contact with contaminated fluids or tissues. Tuberculosis is another bacterial infection um, that's spread by breathing in the bodily fluids of an infected person, so sneezing or coughing nearby. Malaria is mosquito-borne. West Nile virus is also mosquito-borne. Severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, is a form of pneumonia and transferred by inhaling or touching infected fluids. There's the virus that causes it. Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, is a viral respiratory illness that can be transferred from animals to humans. Zika is a virus caused by bites from infected mosquitoes, um, as well as sexual, or sexual contact. Uh, the big thing with Zika is it can cause uh, birth defects in babies if a pregnant woman contracts the, the Zika virus. And cholera, finally, is a bacterial disease that is contract contracted from infected water. So you always want to make sure if you're, you know, going someplace different that you know where that water is coming from and it's been properly, properly treated. All right, the end.